Okay, in our kitchen update, we we ran into a common problem. Uh, this house was built in 1993, and at that time, the over-the-counter microwave was 14 inches high. The new microwaves in 2016 are 16 inches high, approximately. So, the only way to fix this, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this upper cabinet door and take the door apart and I'll make it shorter. So I'll, uh, we'll go through that process later and I'll show you how to do that. So this will help fix this problem. That way I'll be able to get a 16 inch over the range microwave in this space. Of course I'll have to cut the sheet metal and everything else. Okay this is the door we're going to take apart. Now we have to cut three inches off of this door and we don't want to cut where the pull help, the pull uh, location is already there. So we're going to cut three inches off the other end. Before we do anything to this, we need to take a utility knife and cut all the seals of the glue and the varnish all around the edges. And then also cut the joint between the styles and the rails on both ends. We've already done that on the other side. Now on the back side, this door is held together with some small pin nails. And the pin nails you have to dig out, but it doesn't really matter if you dig out on the back side because you can always fill it back in with a Durham's wood putty. And so you dig out around the nails until you expose the top of the nail a little bit. And also on these inset panels, there are three nails on the inset panels. You have to dig those out too. So I'll go ahead and show you how you pull those out. So use a side cutter, just turn it. Pull it up, rock it up with plier. That's gone. Now I left one one pin in the side here, in the side uh, quarter inch panels, and to get that out, get a hold of it, and just pull it out. If you don't take these out, it kind of breaks the wood up a little bit. And then you get a hammer and a block of wood, and just start. Pull it away. Okay. This cape, some of it broke off a little bit. We can glue that again. Glue that back together. So again, this side over here is not coming out as easily as we like, but that's the way things go. There we go. Okay. So that piece came out pretty good. So now when we cut this, we cut three inches off of this and we'll be all set, put it back together. Okay. Okay, after we knock the styles uh, away from the rails on the door, some of the pieces split a little bit. That's why we had to do some repair. This was uh, part of gluing and clamping that. So then, I forgot those apart. We cut three inches off the style side frame and three inches off the panel to push the door up so we have more space for our microwave. So now, if you look at this, these were glued and clamped. If you look at the ends of these, the channels here that the panels sit in had to be cleaned out and with a chisel and sandpaper you would get everything moved up. So then we just moved the rails up to a higher location. But actually this was actually the bottom of the door here. So we did all of our cutting on the top of the door so we really couldn't see it when it was up in the air. And in order to shape the side like it is here, I found a $120 bit that matches that, but I didn't want to buy that. So I just got a uh, Roman Ogi bit that I have and I approximated the shape for uh, matching this door panel. And then this is the other panel that we've already fixed. And you can see that from the top it's going to look perfectly fine, 
And I don't really care about this stuff here that's up in the air. I'm not going to fool with that. But how I shaped this was first I cut a, I cut a section out with a knife, and then I shaped it with a chisel roughly, and I also used a, the uh, Roman ogee bit to kind of approximate the shape. So this panel is going to look pretty good. And this will Okay, this is the back side of our door. It's still very ugly. It needs to all be filled in. So this is our hinge slot right here. There's a special router bit for that, which I had to order a separate bit for the door and for the frame. So this is the bit for the door. So what I need to do is I need to place this slot exactly the same distance from the other end. You can see the old hinge here that was cut off. This door was shortened. But I need to space this exactly the same distance from here to here. So the way I do that is I lay this down. I put my router. The bit's already been established for depth. So that's been adjusted. So now I slide my router bit into the slot. And then I use a straight edge. It'll come a parallel to the other side of the door over here and they'll touch the side of the router over here okay and so now what I do is I just measure this from this straight edge it's 5 and 13 sixteenths from the edge. So now I measure 5 and 13 sixteenths from the other edge. I like to pull an inch. So 5 and 13 sixteenths right here. And then I put my straight edge from the other side and then that will automatically put the slot in exactly the right position. So the straight edge and the and the outside frame of the router are important for spacing. So, okay, we're back inside now, and uh, <clears throat> we have our doors on. Uh, there were a few little things that we had to adjust for. I bought a router bit to put the frame notch in here, but the router wouldn't fit in this area, so I had to drill holes with the drill bit for this vertical slot all the way down and I took it out with a chisel <coughs> straightened it up and then I took a larger drill bit to get this notch in here from the side and it worked fine so that was okay now these <coughs> partitions after we cut everything up here I put some metal L, L braces in here to reinforce this to hold the microwave because this has got a lot of weight on it and it's also some other brackets up on the top I took off the plywood cover that was over this and covered this with oak iron-on strips and I used this for uh, one of the microwave trays that sits up here, extra storage as a bonus. So you can kind of see at the top of this where it was cut off, but I don't really care about that because you can't see it from the outside. So from the outside it looks just like a normal cabinet door and that's good. So what used to be a 14-inch <clears throat> microwave in here, now it's a 17-inch. Uh, Samsung convection over the range microwave and it's above the cabinet so it's perfect. Worked very well. So good luck with your project.